All right, so by now, I know that we're all used to Marjorie Taylor Greene saying very, very deeply unserious and idiotic, nonsensical, incoherent things. But still, what she's going to say in this clip, in particular about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, one of her colleagues, it speaks to the increasing authoritarianism of the GOP. And even if, you know, we can chalk this up to that's just Marjorie Greene being stupid as she usually is, this is still something that should absolutely not be normalized in a democratic society. Take a look. Led by AOC, the little communist from New York City. That's right. Yeah, lock her up too. That's a good idea. <laughs> She's not an American. She really doesn't embrace our American ways. You want to know why? She has something called the Green New Deal. Now, AOC responded to this by kind of laughing it off. She tweeted out, well, I'm still taller than her in response to the comment that she's a little communist. And then Marjorie Green responded saying, well, you're still a communist. Again, I would like for Marjorie Green just for once to define communism. But the reason why this is deeply troubling is because this is authoritarianism. She is calling for one of her political opponents to be imprisoned. What's the reason? Is she lodging any sort of accusation against Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez? Is she saying that she's corrupt? Is she saying that AOC committed a crime? No, she's saying lock AOC up because presumably they have political disagreements. Sorry, but having political disagreements is not a reason to literally publicly call for the jailing of someone who you disagree with. As much as I loathe Marjorie Greene, I do not believe that she should be locked up. Why? Because I actually am a Democrat, a small-D Democrat. I believe that in a free and open society, we should be able to have these disagreements without silencing and censoring others. So if Marjorie Greene says something stupid, my response is... Let's make fun of her for that. Let's fact check her and let's make her look foolish, not lock her up. But she's literally saying my political opponents should be locked up because I don't like them because she's a communist. I don't care what you think she is. First of all, she's not a communist. She's basically a social democrat. Uh, even if she were a communist, guess what? We can be communists in America because it's a free country. If you don't like that, too fucking bad. And it's not like the lock her up chants are anything new, but this is different because when Donald Trump chanted or instructed his audience at rallies to, you know, chant lock her up about Hillary Clinton, yes, that's problematic because you're saying this about your political opponent and that in, it is inherently authoritarian, but there was this implicit assumption that he's saying lock her up because he believes she committed a crime he was referencing her emails now would he be able to articulate what law she broke in particular no would he possibly be you know um locked up for the same crimes if we held him to the same standard as he wants to hold her to yeah of course but now they're moving it into territory where it's just like okay well you know what I don't even care if I think there's a crime. It doesn't matter how misinformed I may or may not be about someone. If you are someone who I disagree with, lock her up. It's, it's entirely different. Entirely different. And I don't have to explain to you why her saying that somebody who is not white is not American is a dog whistle. I mean, I think that that's obvious. But the evidence that she gives as to why she's not an American or why she's anti-American is that she supports the Green New Deal. AOC is anti-American because she supports the Green New Deal, according to Marjorie Green. First of all, we know that when you say that she's not Amer not a real American, you're saying that because she's not white. That's the subtext. But to say that she's anti-American because she, she supports the Green New Deal, hey, Marjorie, riddle me this. Where did she get the Green New Deal from? One of the most popular presidents in American history who did the New Deal. So it's absolutely preposterous. And again, I don't necessarily believe that Marjorie Green is aware of how deeply authoritarian her comments are. I think that it's ignorance, right? But still, to normalize calling to imprison your political opponents when you are not saying that they have done anything wrong, haven't committed a crime, that is so, so toxic and undemocratic that everyone should be condemning this. But it's, it's something that I think people kind of let slip. 
because little by little, the GOP has become increasingly authoritarian. And really, you know, we're inclined to focus on the big things, right? The January 6th insurrection, Donald Trump undermining the presidential election. So seemingly smaller things, just saying lock her up, like from one lawmaker, it might fly under the radar. But little by little, they are normalizing this sort of rhetoric within the GOP's base, who's already predisposed to want authoritarianism. I mean, we've talked about how General Flynn responded, you know, to a question uh, that was asked, hey, why can't we have a Myanmar-style military coup here in the United States? And he, and he said, you know, there's no reason why we shouldn't. So it's, it logically follows that, well, now, of course, we should, you know, maybe also jail political opponents. It's It's horrifying. And she might not have power right now. You know, the GOP might not be in control now, but they agree with her. They like her. If you read the approval ratings for her in Georgia, I mean, for how stupid she is and dangerous she is, they're pretty good. So, I mean, we should never let this sort of behavior and rhetoric go under the radar and go unchallenged. What she's calling for here is authoritarianism. Regardless if she's doing this wittingly or unwittingly, you know, lock her up is just popular political rhetoric in 2021 for whatever reason, because Donald Trump made it popular, but still it doesn't matter. To say that we should jail someone merely on the basis because I disagree with them is so authoritarian that there should be mass calls for her to resign.